Hey all, it's Jordi here. Um, I'm the geek and geek and, and a crony. Um, so basically today I'll be doing an unboxing video. Uh, this is the box. Um, this is now the end of the video because I've unboxed it. Just kidding. No, so, um, so what I'll be doing today is I'll be doing a uh, unboxing video of the Moment, the new Moment Tele, sorry, the new Moment 58mm um, tele lens that was announced back in early November by Moment. Moment are a company that does, um, that manufactures lenses and also cases and a whole bunch of other things. So the idea of these um, lenses are is that it's an attachment for your, for your phone and on a single lens uh, camera, like on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8, etc., it will add two times optical zoom and four times optical zoom on the telephoto camera lenses on the um, and the iPhone 8 Plus, the 7 Plus, um, the Galaxies, and, and the Pixels, any of those cameras that have the, the telephoto lens support there. Those that don't, they will be um, most likely single lenses and they will have the support there. Um, so what I will also be doing is I'll also be unboxing the new um, cases. So this is the first time that I've actually owned a moment lens. Previously, I'd owned a, um, a, a clip lens that would just clip onto my phone. The the issue that I had with those is is that the um, the clips themselves they either wouldn't fit over the case that was already on my phone, or when I did take the case off my phone and to clip it on, it would damage my phone over time. And and I'm sure there's other people out there that had that issue. So the good thing about this is is that uh, they have cases that will actually work with the lenses. Um, and basically, the the lens itself costs around about 100 US dollars, um, and the cases cost around about 30 US dollars. Uh, to find out what phone is supported, you just go to their website and you look at the, um, the the three different types of cases that they have. They've got them for the Pixel, the Galaxy, and the iPhone. Um, and yeah, so you just have a look at your compatibility there for your phone. So anywhere from the iPhone 7 and up, anywhere from the uh, the Galaxy, the Samsung Galaxy 8 and up, and any of the Pixel phones are actually supported. So that's... Um, it's a wide range of, of, of phones that they support. So, as you can see from the... Um, it would actually be nice if I did actually turn this on. First time jitters. Now it's recording. So... If we can um, zoom in right there, so you probably can't see it. It says moment there. It's telephoto lens. Long live the picture taker. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. So let's see if we can get a bit. More. So this is just a um, picture card by the looks of it. Um, so very basic instructions and let's get started. There's only two steps here. Um, yeah. So what else is in the box? There's a little carry case, a little um, cover for the lens itself. And that's the lens right there. So if there's anything else in the box. Doesn't appear to be, it's just all foam. We'll throw that away. So upon inspection of the actual lens itself, it, it is quite heavy. Um, I don't know the exact weight of, of the actual lens itself, um, 
the build look the build quality looks actually really good. Um, so yeah, I mean, it does seem like there's a bit of dust on there. Okay, just a little bit of dust on there. So if we put the lens cap on there. Go, put that to one side. Next is the um, is the case itself. I got the uh, the walnut wood one. I think there is a couple of different ones. There's also um, the different types that you can get. I think uh, to do with like you know like a, a wallet one, like your mum or dad might want to have. Um, I've never really been a fan of those, but you never know. You might be. Um, so let's open this up. So in here, let's get lost, hey? Let's get lost in the moment. Who would have thought that that would have been a very awesome tagline to have? Again, um, instructions um, as opposed to the instructions on this one. Um, there's three, so it's how to put the actual case on and then uh, there's, a, there's a, how to do the lens and then how to do the strap itself. Um, might not be attaching the strap. Okay, so let me get my phone. So this is my phone, so we're going to get rid of the actual case itself. It's so one thing I dislike about a lot of cases on phones. When you first, or oh, not even when you first take them off. When you take them off, um, you haven't taken them off for a very long time, they just get stuck on there and they're not very easy to, um, to take off. I mean, a, a bumper or something like that um, might make it a bit easier, but yeah. So here's the case. Um, A few moments later. The sound that you just heard then was actually a screwdriver. Ah, screwdriver. So, uh, as you probably saw then, I did have some great difficulty um, putting the case on. However, a screwdriver um, and not a knife like this was a better way to try and get it stuck in there. So that's the, um, the case on there. It actually, it adds a bit of weight to the already, um, heavy iPhone. However, um, let's actually have a look at these instructions. So align the dashes on the lens and side of the case. Okay, so there's these, I don't know if you can see it, but there are these little dashes just here and here on the actual lens itself. And then here is where that dash goes, I believe. So if we align those up, twist. Actually, let's go the other way because I think I just put it on upside down. Although, does that really matter? When you are putting a case, a lens on. So, let's have a look. Let's take the lens case off. Obviously, um, Again, the, the lens adds a bit of weight to the case, so I don't know how long you would actually want to hold this on for. Is that when you, um, so you, to put it on the other lens, all you do is, is you just basically line it up. So I don't know if you can see, but you line it up there and there.
and there you go. It's on that second lens on the um, on the iPhone. And then if you want to change it, just twist, and then line it up again. Um, with practice, you'll actually get a lot better than because I'm currently struggling with it. But yeah, I think it's a really cool feature. Is actually, um, you know, you can go between the two lenses quite easy. Um, and then don't forget to put your lens cap on. Um, and there you go. And now I'm going to go out and, and actually take some video and take some um, stills with it and, and compare it between the standard iPhone 8 Plus lenses and, and, and the moment lens to see how good it is. Um, and, and yeah, I'll let you know how I go. to do this bit without a hat on um so this is what my hair actually looks like so anyway so enough of that um what i decided to go and do on my break was is go out and actually test out the 58 mil lens for by moment pretty impressed with it i think the only couple of gripes that i had was is that the uh apple could do a better job on their default um iphone camera app they need to go out and actually uh allow you to switch between the single and the tele lens there. I had to use the Moment for stills and uh, Filmic Pro for um, video just because they're a lot better app anyway. The other thing as well is um, is the uh, the case uh, I didn't find as durable as what it could be. Um, the Moment lens switching between the single and the, the tele lens um, to get the different optical zooms. Um, it, uh, I, I'd know I, I'd notice over time the fair wear and tear would actually be there. Um, and I I just, yeah, I think that they could do, could have done a better job on the actual um, case itself, but the lens, however, the lens is pretty damn good. Um, the only other thing that I'd notice is, is the weight, like the weight of the case and the weight of the lens would, if you have like a, uh, a gimbal, um, if you shot on a gimbal, it would actually become quite heavy. Um, so I'm not sure how that would work there. Um, over time, your arms would probably, you know, start to, to tire out after a while. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how the, uh, the lens performed. And like anything in photography, there are moments where you would use the, the, the single lens and the, um, the, the tele lens, but also there's on the phone, but also there's a, um, other cases where you wouldn't actually need to use the 58 mil. Um, but yeah, I, I would highly recommend getting, going out and getting the 58 mil lens. Um, if you want to go out and, and learn how to do mobile photography or videography, it stacks up pretty damn well. Um, so yeah, so go out there and get it. <laughs>